So with the summer update part one, we have some pretty cool features that I want to show you on law enforcement. Now, if you remember, they added a duty belt over here in the recent update. And this is one of the kind of things you can customize. So as you can see, we've currently got the pistol on the right and we've got the taser on the left. Pretty straightforward, right? You can't really do much customization with it right now. Hopefully in the future, there will be more options to customize and move things around and add more things to your belt. Anyways, Juice belt has been equipped. Perfect. Okay. And if we go over here and we'll grab myself a pistol, we'll go and just grab the shield nine for the moment. So using the animation thing we've had for a while, we can do the hand on gun, which as you can see, our hand will just be on our pistol there. But if we take it off and we pull out the weapon, as you can see, it takes another holster pretty cool so yeah the weapon is removed from the holster it looks kind of weird like this um i wish there was a way that you could like hold it in your holster and pull out but it's pretty cool anyways you can now be holding the weapon out and as you can see it isn't in your holster anymore same thing goes with the taser pull it out and it's no longer in the taser command on the right there you can see it's in and it's out these are those types of details that I love to see URC add because it looks so good in cinematics and photos and whatnot when an officer's uh, pistol is drawn and they don't have a pistol, they don't have another pistol in their holster. It just looks so good. Also, one more thing I want to show you with the guns. Some people have found this out, others haven't. But if you press Q, you can actually change sides. As you can see, I'm aiming on the left now. And if we press E, I'm now aiming on the right. You can see if we were like stacking up um, if this was a wall and not windows and if we were stacking up to do a breach of the building, if I wanted to go third person, I can then change it to Q and be on the other side. It's a bit weird because I'm not used to that, but it's still a pretty cool feature that um, some people haven't seen. Q and E, you can change which shoulder your weapon's on. Anyways, if you do find out any small secrets in this update, please do let me know in the comments below. Uh, subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any EOC content and I'll see you all in the next one.